Live from the beautiful Long Island Community Hospital Amphitheater in Farmingville, Strong Island, New York. In our main event of the evening, undefeated knockout artist and undoubtedly kickboxing's pride of Long Island, New York, Pat Carroll pushes all of his chips to the table by anting his undefeated record of 4 0 with every intent of bringing home Flex Fight Series hardware. Stemming from UFC veteran Ryan LaFlair's Long Island MMA, Stanley Sinaitis aspires to be the next icon of their already illustrious roster. Undefeated 2-0 in his young amateur career, the Long Island bad boy steps into his third bout with a 100% finish rate, putting away the likes of both high-level strikers and grapplers. The unadulterated representation of all fight no fluff, Acerbo has fought through multiple divisions answering the bell no questions asked. Having had competed against the Northeast's top amateur talent since its inception into mixed martial arts in 2016, a slick savvy grappler not afraid to stand in the pocket and trade, he is one of the most enigmatic puzzles to solve inside the cage. A polarizing figure that has been terrorizing the amateur ranks of Florida MMA, the skull collector Tyler McNett, fighting out of St. Petersburg, Florida, looks to put the world on notice by adding the Flex Fight Series belt onto his already decorated mantle of championships. The fifth-ranked light heavyweight of Florida seeks to eliminate any competition that dare stands in his way. The once bare-knuckled street fighter looks to violently enter into the professional ranks. 10-0 as an unsanctioned street fighter, the Skull Collector can be heralded on the Mount Rushmore of bare-knuckle street fighting with Kimbo Slice and Jorge Masvidal. In the amateur ranks, he is 4-1 with three finishes, avenging his only loss three weeks after a questionable decision by way of knockout. Every hard-fought battle is inked into his skin, on full display for the world to see, with each skull tattoo representing a victim of his relentless pursuit of becoming a prize fighter. Rising out of the mixed martial arts hotbed of New Jersey, a talent that has yet reached full potential, Nart Goke begins his journey to stardom. He puts it all on the line July 16th against Florida's number 5 ranked light heavyweight Tyler McNett. But this time, both fighters will be fighting in unfamiliar territory in a 190-pound catchweight battle for the ages. Forged in fire by his mentor and coach Paul Carnicella, and sharpened by his band of brothers, Nart's heavy hands and unrelenting pressure is sure to be a tall task for any opponent. In a Long Island Community Hospital Amphitheater in Farmingville, New York, these two titans clash in an epic battle for gold, forever etching the date as an anniversary of glory or defeat. Under the servitude of no one, Ronin's mercenaries for hire were driven not only by the bounty, but by the desire of striking fear into the hearts of their enemies. Javier, the Shogun assassin Singh, personifies a true definition of balance, embodying a calm spirit while brandishing the cold steel of well-honed technique. This 145-pound powerhouse looks to have his knockout power on full display on his Flex Fight Series debut. Alongside his teammate Fabian Gutierrez, these two Ronins march shoulder to shoulder into battle. Legendary warriors are branded with nicknames that are forged in the tales of battle. Not only has Julio Primetime Segura earned his name, he looks to showcase his weapons and conquer Flex Fight's 145-pound kickboxing division. The Puerto Rican native is a national kickboxing silver medalist, earning a knockout in his debut. Anything short of a finish will be a disappointment to him and his proud Dutch kickboxing camp, Rigorogi. On July 16th at the Long Island Community Hospital Amphitheater, Flex Fight Series 15, Fight Festival. Make sure to get your tickets on flexfights.com and don't forget, flex hard, fight easy.